Good morning. It's the very first day of Vlogmas. This is Kathy and you have reached me at my sewing practice and this morning you're going to get a little bit of raw footage because we are starting Vlogmas. And I won't bring you here every morning but I thought I would show you how I start my day. And um, we start by this spot. This is my morning spot. It's a couch that's in my kitchen. My kitchen's right there. And um, my husband makes me a nice healthy smoothie right here in a cup that's full of newsprint because we usually read the newspaper at the same time. And that smoothie has um, fruit and flaxseed. I'm sure I'll forget everything it has in it. Um, bananas. Uh, oh, and lots of greens. And lately he's even been growing his own sprouts and putting them in there. So it's a real healthy smoothie. It's pretty carb heavy. So then I make protein balls and these are peanut butter, um, some honey, a lot of oats and some almond flour and uh, coconut and flaxseed and dash of salt. I roll them up into balls and call them protein balls. Because before that I was reaching for breakfast bars which are really just so much sugar. So. So yeah, I get up and he makes me my smoothie and then I sit here <laughs> with my trusty laptop and just cruise around, you know, planning my day and looking at stuff and, you know, check my emails and watching my YouTube videos. But today is uh, Wednesday. I'm filming this a day before December 1st and I'm going to spend the entire day with you. Um, so I cleared my calendar and we're going to spend together um, sewing and talking about sewing. And one of my first projects will be to work on my patina blouse. And that's the sleeve. Um, I was working on the continuous lap last night while we were watching the crown. Um, I sewed, hand sewed the inside a little bit. And downstairs I've got the bodice um, ready. It took me quite a while to get the facing and the collar down. A um, couple of sewing sessions, and but it's all ready, and we'll continue on that. And then, probably not today, but hopefully within the next few days, I'm going to get started on some Christmas craft sewing that I'm looking forward to doing it. It's going to be super fun. Um, but yeah, so this is my introduction. I'm going to have my little morning time here, and then we'll go down to the sewing room. And then the only thing I have to do today as far as getting out of the house is I do have to go to the gym at one and I'll run a couple of errands while I'm out. So that's the schedule. See you soon. All right, so good morning again. This time you're in my sewing space and I have not decorated yet for Christmas. That's another activity we'll be doing together, I'm sure. Um, but I wanted to tell you about what I'm making today when I'm sewing. So. As a little bit of a backup, I have completed this blouse, which is the second version of the M7436. This time I have done UB, which means that instead of like the clerical collar, I did these ties. Now, I did leave the sleeves off completely because I did not have enough fabric. So you will not see me without this jacket because I am not proud of how I look in a sleeveless top. So we're not going to be doing that. But I do have on my Metro Blazer. And if you um, are new, I will tell you that there is a not very old video on this Metro Blazer giving like a review of it and just showing it. And it's also a collab with Marissa the Umbrian Sewist. So if you want to go back to that, feel free. But um, obviously go through this video first. And so at this point, I'm kind of burnt out on this pattern. Um, I mean, it's just so-so. But I have a love affair with the patina. And I'm going to insert photos right now showing you why. So as you can see, I have made a white linen version. It's called Chevron Linen that I got from Joanne over the summer. And then I interlined the front just in case it was sheer and it's long sleeve. So I really did not get a lot of use out of that over the summer because it was just simply too warm. But now um, I, it's been on full rotation. You know, it's just one of those garments I feel good in. And when you feel good, you just have a little more confidence. And if you have a little more confidence, you just enjoy your day more. So I have really enjoyed the patina blouse. 
Now I am about, I would say probably halfway through um, the current make. Let me show you the pattern. It is a Friday pattern company blouse. It was uh, pretty popular a little bit ago, so you probably are be, you know, familiar with it. Um, so far, everything is going well. Um, I have got the facing in and the collar. And now I'm on the sleeve, and the sleeve calls for a continuous lap. And since this is a blouse and not a shirt, I think that's a more feminine touch. Um, and so I'm going to go with that. And then after I get off here, I will go put on something that's more sewing appropriate. And I will continue on that um, sleeve construction. So I'll see you soon. Okay, so I've sewn for about an hour or so. And I am going to take a break. I do that about every hour. And so far what I've done on my blouse is get the button and buttonholes in. Um, I'm kind of off instructions at this point. I think I'm doing my own thing. Um, but I have made the sleeve lengths long and I was considering doing something like I did on my white blouse with the tucks um, detail on the sleeves. And I especially wanted to do that because I actually recently have taken out one of those tucks because that blouse kind of shrunk up a little bit. So I like that flexibility of being able to adjust the sleeves, um, you know, after wearing. So anyway, I'm going to go upstairs and um, while I'm on break, I'm going to research how to use this pin tuck foot. I thought maybe that there was some, you know, maybe some style ideas in the realm of pin tucks. So um, I will see you soon. Okay, so I'm back in my spot. Are you seeing a pattern here? I'm going to keep my glasses on. Make sure, we'll see if there's glare. I usually have them off for the videos because sometimes they pick up some glare. But anyway, got my second cup of coffee. And I have a leftover protein bar. And if you hear sizzling, I'm sauteing some asparagus that was gonna go bad if I didn't cook it up. And then I was in the mood for more of a hearty snack than usual. So I made this wrap of sprouts and carrots and avocado on the bottom and spinach. So that's gonna be my snack. And then I'm gonna open my computer and enjoy a little break. Okay, so I'm getting ready to close this sewing session down and then I will go to the gym. So I just thought I'd do a little bit of a wrap up. So first of all, let's get to the sewing content. Um, but before that, I'll just tell you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing a unicorn. Yeah, like this denim shirt like should not work for me. First of all, no like shirts have ever fit me in my life and this one does. And secondly, I should not be able to wear this light blue because I'm a warm palette and yet it works. So it's, um, it's a unicorn. And then um, on top of that, I have my pattern Emporium Grab a Cup of Cardi and that Joanne Cashmere or Cashmere <laughs> type fabric um, that's kind of a thick, a little bit like a thick ponty. And again, I have a video on that too. But let's get to the sewing content. So firstly, yeah, I know a so, uh, Christmas is coming and I know that as a vlogger, I do have to have an advent calendar. <laughs> so I'm gonna open this in front of you and then on top of that, I'm gonna have a really good twist on an advent calendar. So don't go away yet. Now, this is my very first advent calendar and I got the one from Beyond the Pink Door. Now, the only thing wrong with that store is that it's not in America because I can't even watch it because I want this stuff so badly. I want it so much. And so what you need to do, Andrea, is make it, you know, the next pink door or something because America needs one of you. And, you know, I think that one of us Americans should approach her. Okay, paper, scissors. Okay. <laughs> this is the first thing 
thing I've ever gotten from her. Oh my goodness. This is truly a rush. I didn't know. <laughs> okay. I got a little card. It says, wishing you a December to remember from Andrea, Sherris, and Carolyn. Okay. Wrestling of paper is next. Okay. Now, this is what I was a little afraid of. The number one's not on top. So, just a second. Okay, clearly she's left the number one off for me. Oh, wait. Do I do number 25 first? No, I do number one. Okay, I'm going to look one more time. Okay, back. Number one. <laughs> I will cut it. Oh, sewing labels. This is so great because I got to tell you the honest truth. I really need these and of course I really was considering getting Kylie in the machine and then I was having a little bit of FOMO and so this is just fabulous this is so good okay as I tear the package to the oh, smithereens we will see what they are oh Andrea thank you gorgeous I'm gorgeous what else oh my goodness ah, six of them wonderful 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 i love it and they can be used on almost everything so that is really great okay so now i'm going to show you a unique uh, advent calendar concept so i was thinking what can i do to be different and i thought i am going to do a reversed advent calendar and i was presenting it to my daughter Brittany because i had her in mind because as you know, might know she's helped me some with the channel and especially recently she not only did the painting on that beautiful um apron but she's given me some equipment that she is not currently using so as a thank you i thought i would involve her and give her an advent calendar and then I thought, well, how am I going to do that if I have, like, every day for 25 days, I put things in a calendar for her, you know, how are we going to see her open it? And it occurred to me the 12 days of Christmas. So what we're going to do is we are going to build an advent calendar for 12 or 13 days, and then I will get with her and I'll give it to her. And although I don't want to give her a job, I suspect she'll help me in filming a day or two of her getting into her advent calendar so that's my idea and i think it will be really fun and so in theory in 12 days we are going to give a calendar that you and i have made together to my daughter and then she will you know enjoy the gifts from it and then on the 25th have the accumulation um yeah so that's the idea so let me show you the calendar i found again i feel so excited about this so let me get the um, directions. While I'm looking for that, I just wanted to let you know that if you think that I'm not going to be buying new stuff in December, you are wrong. <laughs> and one thing I'm going to make is a, just a simple t-shirt with this fabric. Long ago in the day, we would just get a nice Christmas outfit we'd wear on Easter and uh, go wear to church and wear to all the events you went to with your parents. But those days are gone. You now can just wear uh, Christmas themed clothing all December and that's gonna be a, just a simple t-shirt I'll wear on the day to day. So I found this pattern called Advent Bunting and it's an Etsy shop purchase, although you really don't need to have the pattern, but I will link it anyway. And I went ahead and purchased the whole pattern and all you do is simply cut some rectangles and then sew them together to form a pocket, something like this. And then as you can see, you have a pocket that's a little greater than three inches square that you can put your treats in. And then of course I will string it all together with some bias tape. And so while I was over at the cutting table just a moment ago, I was cutting the rectangles and I'll show you some of my fabrics. So there's one and there's a little plaid. Um, and here is some sand or snowmen and trees. And then each one is going to have the backing of this, 
a plain canvas, a natural colored canvas. And then someone in here will put on numbers, okay? So we're gonna be making that together. Now, where I'm so far is I've done my cutting. So I thought I would show you that I, the little unusual straps that are, scraps that are no, not big enough for anything else, I just put in a little pile because my middle grandson loves to sew. And so I think he'll have a kick out of just having some fun little fabrics to sew on. Um, we're not in the middle of a project. He's not here enough because he's a student now. He has to go to school every day. <laughs> but anyway, he just likes to actually just play with, kind of play with the machine, which I think is great. I think that's just fine. Okay, so I wanted to show you that. Oh, and then when you are doing like craft projects, you end up with a lot of the little strips. And I just wanted to let you know that I do keep these because they are good. I just hang them next to my zippers because they're you know similar shape. And they're good for you know cord containment. Um, if you get a cute strip, you can even use it as ribbon for your Christmas gifts. Or it can be something as benign as containing your leftover fabric before you throw it into your closet of shame that I have. That's what I call my closet where I keep my scraps because it is a nightmare. And so um, that's where I am with that project. Okay, let's see here. Oh, okay, one other thing. I told you I have making some purchases. So I um, found that there's an LD, LED light strip that works really good for the sewing machine. So it's an adjunct light that you just adhere to the underside of your sewing machine. And I'll show you a picture of, you know, what it looks like on mine. But I bought extras because I plan these being gifts for my sewing club. There's three of us in the club, so I, you know, got, have mine already. <laughs> and then um, this will be for them. So, all right. So here we are with some Christmas content. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to um, shut you off now. And like I said, I am going to go to the gym and do some errands. And I will talk to you. So I'm back. Um, I did go to exercise and I ran some errands like promised. And then I've done a little bit of sewing after dinner. I started making rectangles to go um, in the advent calendar. So they haven't been flipped yet. I need to flip them and trim the corners. So I just wanted to let you know I'm just using all purpose thread. And I am not using a walking foot. I'm just using a regular foot. And this one is the quarter inch um, number 57 if you're a Bernina. So yeah, I'm making the rectangles. Let's see here. Got that one. Um, this one's to just show you what it will look like when I flip it up. And then, like that. I think you get the idea. A lot of these fabrics I purchased when I was at that sewing event in Indianapolis, we went um, for a little bit of a group fabric shop in a quilting shop, and so I picked up some of them then. And um, I, you know, I'm in a couple of sewing clubs, and one of, two of them actually, people donate to. So one of my jobs is to go through and check out this um, fabrics. And so I just wanted to show you how silly people are. They'll donate the craziest stuff. Like, this fabric, I think it's been peed on. Like, yuck. Like, ew. <laughs> and then this one, um, someone donated a shirt as fabric. But first they harvested all the buttons, and then they harvested all the good pieces. <laughs> so that's what they donated. <laughs> so that's kind of silly. Another thing I wanted to show you is that when I make my button holes, um, especially if it's going to be a, like a fragile, or not a fragile, but an unstable fabric like viscose can be, I will stabilize it with this wash away stabilizer. And I'll show you what that is. 
um, but it's just a Pellon product and it comes in sheets but I cut it into one inch strips and then just I have it on hand and I just grab it um, when I go to make my buttonholes. So there you have it. All right, well, um, I just enjoyed spending the day with you. Thank you so much for coming along. Um, it's just, you know, great getting to know you. So I am going to say good night and I will see you um, next time I have a vlog this day. <laughs> good night. <laughs>